Welcome to Thermco Products. This instructional video is for the model ACC 821 series of digital thermometers. The 821 is a single channel time and date stamped digital thermometer that records min, max, and alarm conditions into memory. The 821 has a triple digit display that simultaneously shows the current, min, and max temperatures. The unit has a temperature range of minus 50 to 70 degrees Celsius, minus 58 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.3 degrees C, plus or minus 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The A21 has audible and visual LED alarms with programmable low and high alarm set points. Okay, quick overview of the ACC 821. Sliding the front cover down will give you access to additional controls and settings. On the far left, we have a selection switch for either the Celsius or Fahrenheit temperature scale Next, we have a clear button to remove all data from memory. Next, we have the set button for time, date, and alarm set points with up and down navigation buttons to make those settings. Sliding the cover further will expose the battery compartment. All right, let's close that up. Now, on the front of the unit, uh, we have three additional buttons. On the far left, we have the alarm deactivation button. It has a little bell over the top. In the center, we have a mode button for scrolling through the different display screens. And to the far right is the event button to see ad additional information for each display mode. The LCD screen is currently showing the main display, which is showing the current temperature at the top, the minimum recorded temperature in the center, and the maximum recorded temperature at the bottom of the screen. If we hit the event button, we will get when these events have happened. At the top, we have the minimum temperature recorded with the month and day in the center of the screen and the time at the bottom of the screen of when the occurrence happened. Press event again, and now we see the max temperature with the month and day in the center and the time at the bottom of the screen of that occurrence. Press event again and we are back to the main display screen. Press the mode button and we're now in the alarm display. It's currently showing the current temperature at the top, the uh, low alarm set point, and at the bottom is the high alarm set point we press the event for this, this would show the alarm, low alarm uh, time and date stamp, which we've not had an event, so there's no data. And pressing again would give us the high alarm data. Press event again, and we're back into the main alarm display screen. Press mode again, and we're into the third and last display which at the top is showing uh, the year. The center is showing the month and day. And at the bottom is showing the time. Pressing the event here will toggle the uh, month and day to day and month. And hitting event will toggle it back again. All right, let's go on to setting up the unit. Okay, in setting up the ACC 821, it has to be noted that the unit has the ability to measure ambient temperatures with its internal sensor or use external probes to monitor temperatures in refrigerators, freezers, or other devices. If your application is to use an external probe, then the probe must be plugged in while the alarm settings are being made. In this demonstration, I'll be setting the unit up as though we were measuring vaccines in a refrigerator. All right, so let's plug in our external bottle probe. And the first setting I like to do is our time and date settings. So let's go to that screen. Open up our compartment. Hit the set button. It's currently 2014. Let's go up one. Hit our set button. The month happens to be July. All right. Hit set again. The day is flashing. Uh, let's do a shortcut. Let's go down. It's the 31st. 
and head is set. Hit the set button. The time. It's currently uh, 250. We will hit get button twice to get the two for the the hour. And now let's go to 54 minutes. And there's our minutes. Hit the set. And now we have the choice of AM or PM. Currently the PM is selected. If you hit the up or down arrow, you will not see the PM. That means you have selected AM. Hit the up or down again. We see the PM. That's what I would like. Let me hit set. And our year, month, day, and time is now set. Now let's go and configure our alarm settings. Hit the mode. There's our current min-max screen. Let's go one more time. And here's our alarm setting screen. It currently has a low alarm set point of minus 50 degrees C and a high of 70 degrees C. But we're going to be setting our unit up for common vaccines. And they generally are in the range of 2 degrees C for a low alarm setting and 8 degrees C for a high. So hit the set button. Our low uh, settings are flashing. So let's go up to 2 degrees C. And you can move in one degree increments. Let's hit set and I'll set our high for 8 degrees now when we do set our uh, high alarm for 8 degrees C that is lowered in 26.3 degrees C which is our current room temperature measured by the, the bottle thermometer that went a little too far there let's go back up <clears throat> And as I said, once I hit that set, we will go into an alarm condition. But that's okay. All right. The LCD screen is showing you a flashing high alarm, meaning that you had an excursion with your high alarm set point. You have a red LED blinking. And you also have the audible alarm. It beeps about 10 times. Go silent for a bit. Beeps 10 more times. And we'll continue until you hit any button. And which will silence it. Alright, that silenced it. Let me shut the door here. Now, let's see what we have for an event from the screen. If you hit event, our low alarm had no conditions, so nothing is recorded. So the event again. But our high alarm that is set at 8 degrees C was uh, passed at the month of June 31st at 2.51 p.m. You hit event again, you come back to the main alarm setting screen. And hit mode. And you know what, let's change uh, day, month, month, day. I like that setting better. And hit mode again. And now we're back to the main current temperature, minimum recorded temperature, maximum recorded temperature. Alright. At this point, the unit is all set and configured to be used. All you need to do now is unplug your probe, put it into your fridge, freezer, or other device, and let it be in that environment for at least 30 minutes so it conditions the buffer medium for that temperature. Once uh, it has been in there for 30 minutes, you can bring your unit back over, plug the probe back in, and hit the clear button, and that will remove all the time and date stamp recordings and you'll be now ready. It should be in no alarm condition and you should be able to start monitoring from that point forward. That concludes our instructional video for the ACC 821. For additional product information or information on any other products that Thermco has, please visit our website at www.thermcoproducts.com or call us at 973-300-9100. Thank you.